Welcome back to Here and Now. Many of you will remember my next guest, Margaret Wendt. He is a columnist with the Globe and Mail. Her name has been a lightning rod here for more than a decade. In 2005, Danny Williams was embroiled in a dispute with Ottawa over equalization, and Wendt wrote a scathing opinion piece about this province. Here's some of what she wrote. I like Newfoundlanders, I really do, but their sense of victimhood is unmatched. Mr. Williams reminds me of a deadbeat brother-in-law who's hit you up for money a few times too often. Rural Newfoundland is probably the most vast and scenic welfare ghetto in the world. Well, that infuriated John Crosby at the time. This is the worst type of racial profiling that I've seen, or racism, that I've seen in a long time. I believe that the elites in Toronto and Ontario and places like that are getting a little upset that the Newfoundlanders are getting a bit too uppity. Uh, you know, it's the old song and dance. We've been hearing it for the years. Well, all, you know, those elite Canadians in Upper Canada just thumb their noses at, at us. You know, it's the victim mentality. Well, this weekend, Margaret Wente wrote another article after visiting Fogo Island, says she was wrong back then, and she joins us live from Toronto. Well, thanks very much for being here, Ms. Wente. Uh, you. So you write this follow-up column 11 years later. Why? Because I spent some time in Newfoundland this summer, and I went all around the province with some friends, talked to lots and lots of people, and I came back with a different view of the place and the people. It's about as simple as that. But you didn't actually retract the insults. What do you want to say to people here? What I want to say to Newfoundlanders is that I think I have tremendous respect for their resilience and their resourcefulness in the face of really long odds and lots of hard times. And that's, that's certainly true today as, as you, you guys battle with, uh, with, the, with the oil bust. But it's true that Newfoundlanders, as many people told me, are probably the warmest and friendliest people in the world. Long memories, mind you, but certainly warm and friendly. And uh, we had a, a great time there. And the best time was with the people. So just tell us, uh, Margaret Wente, uh, you write this column. What are you saying? You're sorry? Yeah, I think I got it wrong. I think I got Newfoundland wrong, and I think I got Newfoundlanders wrong. And I think I came away, I didn't know I was going to write the column, by the way, before our, our big trip, or even during the big trip. But after I got back, I started to reflect, and I said, yeah, I really feel like I've got something to say here, so I should say it. Perhaps, as some people have been saying, you should have visited the province before you wrote that article in 2005. Uh, well, you know, I was kind of scared, <laughs> but, um, although, you know, I still get, I still get email from, from Newfoundlanders, and I have to tell you, a lot of it is, is very nice and welcoming, uh, as well as the other kind, but it just took us a while to get around to, uh, to going there, but I'm awfully glad we did, and, and I, think, uh, Ms. I think, and I have to say, I think that I wrote that column for other Canadians, too. I said, you know, if you haven't been, you should go because it's really a special place. Why did you choose not to use your, uh, your name that you use in the paper? You used your uh, married name that you went incognito. Why did you do that? What were you afraid I, of? You know, I didn't really go. That's kind of a, a joke. I said I went by my married name, e Peggy McLeod. But, you know, I didn't really go incognito. Uh, that was tongue in cheek. I never disguised who I was. Uh, a lot of people I met there know who I am. And, uh, you know, I didn't, there was no subterfuge about it. I just didn't make any big deal of introducing myself as Margaret Wente reviled Globe and Mail columnist. <laughs> I didn't think there was much of a point in that. <laughs> Well, we are still talking about your words, and they are reviled <laughs> in many parts. That's more than a decade ago. Um, can you say anything to compensate for the image that you created of people here back then, an image that probably stuck with many? Well, you know, uh, tempers were hot, and, uh, and blood was running high. And remember Newfoundlanders, some Newfoundlanders were hauling down the Canadian flag. And that was really what some of the rest of Canada looked at and saw. And we said, hauling down the flag, that's a bit tough. You know, that's a bit tough. Um, and I think that was really what got me going, the symbolism of it all. And, yeah, it, uh, it you know, 
it was tough uh, using words like uh, ghetto and welfare bums and all of that kind of stuff. Do you understand if people here are not ready to forgive and forget? Well, I think a lot are because they've emailed me and told me that. And I think my email is running about, you know, about 90 percent, 90 percent positive. They're saying, okay, we'll forgive you. We may not forget, but we'll forgive you. And by the way, the next time you're here, come around for a drink, because that's what Newfoundlanders are like. <laughs> Margaret Wente will leave it there. Who knows in the next decade what might turn up. But thank you very, very much for joining us here. I hope to be here. back soon. <laughs> okay.